We are here, we are here, we are here. One is an amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up GBP, JPY. We are on a monthly time frame, price action, last candle to the right hand side, look like a bullish green candle in the area of consolidation. So we do have price action overall, higher highs, price action overall, lower lows, midpoint, adding second level lows also adding third level lows so we can see currently prices between the SR lines we're going to add one more between that midpoint to see what's really going on as we walk down that time frame so zooming in the price current price is sitting at 164.539 so we can see price action bullish green candle coming from the second last candle being a bearish red doji so price action is a golf in a second could be pushing and breaking out or maybe stop at a midpoint within that area and reject it so if price is going to work its way up to the next level it can head up to the numbers of 165.718 and if price work its way down it can head back down to that previous numbers of 161.113 So let's take a look at what's going on in that area. We can see that consolidation happen. There's also a pattern that could be drawn out in that area. So let's draw it. So the market's gonna continue with this uptrend. Mark's creating that pattern, coming down in red, first leg, second leg, third leg. Price action is engulfing the second last candle. Mark is pushing up for that fourth leg, as I said before, set up to that uh, resistance line. And the market's gonna run into that resistance, tag that multiple uh, resistance multiple times for that first, leg in green second third fourth uh this could be the retest if we receive a pattern uh, against price action in that area at the top of that resistance mark is coming down from a double double top in a retest or a triple top of that area or that market is just continue to consolidate sideways within that yellow sr lines that we did create Walking down to the weekly time frame, price action on the weekly time frame. Bullish green candle, we see the full engulfment. We see our price came back for that full return. So overall, first, second, third, and we can see that market's pushing up for that fourth leg to reach that resistance. Once it get there, if it gets there, looking for that break retest, market's coming from a double bottom and a retest. And then we're looking for price to head up to numbers of 160.463. Also, we have a huge bullish green candle for price action, so it broke something in that area of that midpoint between those SR lines. So as we walk down the time frame, we wanna see if we can identify a break on that yellow, on that red SR line at price of 163.175 or somewhere near those numbers. If market's coming down, we can see multiple tags to that area resistance. First, second, overall third, overall fourth. A retest mark is coming down from a triple top and a retest or a quadruple top. Walking down the time frame. Okay, on the daily time frame, price action bullish green doji inside a second last candle showing that the market did tag twice. So that candle is very um, small. So it could be running to have resistance be coming down. So we're looking for a pattern to identify itself here to see if that market's gonna come down. If so, that market can come down to at least our previous SR line of price of 163.175 and it still eventually work its way up. If not, if we receive that break, we're looking for that break of this area retest and for that market to work its way down. Walking down to the four hour time frame, price action of four hour time frame, bullish green can do. Doji long way down to the bottom we can do it did tag that area support it still have enough momentum to grow 
but is 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 it is within the second third last candle which is that consolidation we do want to see something break uh, above the second third last candle working its way up if it's working its way down you want to see engulf the second third candle working its way down or pattern to identify itself for that push in either direction walking down to three hour time frame Price action still read the same thing. Bullish green doji or bullish green pressed down to the bottom. Still weak candle. Still inside second last candle, third to last candle. So that market's consolidating until we see the engulfment to the second, third, last candle as we read before. But if price do engulf and work its way down, it can head down to that midpoint between price action and that SR line, which would be near price of 163.743. And if price work is way up, we want to see it reach this SR line. I um, mean, reach this third, the last candle wick, a price of 165.140. Walking down to a two hour time frame. Or is identified as a break and retest. The market broke, came back to retest the previous area. Price action candle, bullish green candle with the press down to that bottom of that support that SR line we created. If price action go up to second last candle, price is headed up to the next SR line or next area, which would be at 164.850. Walking down to one hour time frame. Price action is engulfing the second last candle, can't push up to at least the midpoint. So we do have price action highs. We do have a midpoint here, and this is a low. So price action can head up to price of 164.743 price action is in golf man. all we do is waiting for that close out markets work its way up second last candle is identifying that spike down to that low if not markets identifying a push down for that resistance or market to identify that first second third fourth retest markets coming down from a double top and retest or triple top of that area also, as a wedge pattern in here, connect the resistance, correct the support. We're going to see if it's going to break out, come back to that midpoint, or it's going to break out that wedge, work its way down. Walking down to the 45 minute time frame, reading the same thing. Walking down to a 30 minute time frame, reading the same thing as a one hour time frame. So, price action is engulfing the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and last candle of the market. Showing that market is working its way up to that midpoint of that area near price 164.697. And if it is rejected with a pattern or rejected at that resistance, we'll see that drop down. So markets will be coming from a pattern. And we'll talk about that on a 15 minute time frame, which will be to say if they rejected at this area here, it'll be coming down for the first, second, third, fourth retest. Markets coming down, as I said before, a double top and a retest, or just a triple top of that area overall. Price action on the 15 minute candle is a doji, so it's retesting, so we still is indecisive. Waiting for a pattern to engulf that area to the push up or push down. So right now it's a waiting game on a 15 minute time frame. Five minute time frame, we have that consolidation. So we still are waiting for that breakout to that top side of the candles of the second, third to last candle, or fourth to last candle bodies and wicks. Second to last candle is respected at that midpoint so markets consolidate at that top end three minute time frame still being the same thing we do have that consolidation waiting for that market to do what it do as engulf the second and third to last candle to the downside or engulf the fourth or fifth to last candle on the top side to work its way up so markets consolidate so any pattern can be drawn out until that SR line is broken to the bottom of the top one minute time frame, reading the same thing. Look at overall pushes, first, second, third, fourth. Retest market come down from a triple top or be respected for that first, second, third, fourth. Retest markets work its way up back to previous numbers of 164.569. Okay, guys, please review very important information. Forex pattern cheat sheet. Click on images, breakout and retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys.